Hi, I'm Don. Today we're painting a Grimskull miniature and today we're painting with a limited color palette. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Usually my painting is very vibrant, very saturated and simply because I like how they look on the table and of course on the display cabinet. A perfect example is this Grimskald Orc, which I haven't finished yet. We just painted the green skin, which is so vibrant. But I promise to finish this maybe early next month. Today we paint differently. I'm not limiting the number of paints that I'm using, but I'm limiting the look of the final, the finished model. I'm basically going for a limited color palette look, which should look ghostly, but without the usual fluorescent green and fluorescent blue-green look of most ghostly miniatures. I must admit, although I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings and the color palette of Lord of the Rings, I'm not really comfortable with painting a limited palette for miniature painting. I do follow a ton of like miniature painters at Instagram that does limited color palette look or desaturated finishes or even I also follow a lot of grimdark artists which does this really really well but personally I'm not good at this I'm kinda not experienced enough at painting with a limited color palette. I'm a big fan of the style, but I need practice. <laughs> so I started with dark sea blue as usual over black primer or black paint and then I moved up to like eventually a pale olive green color which is dead scale I think is the name for this cuttlefish color and then after this one I'm going to be painting with a pale blue gray color for the pre-highlight color and I think this is one of the rare painting projects that I'm happy even midway through the painting project because usually I'm not happy during the ugly stage or during the sketching stage especially if the miniature is very colorful or very complex. I tend to like think too much sometimes especially if there are so many colors. With this one, I'm not really thinking too much. It's just applying and exaggerating the light source and adding shades like this one. I'm painting a dark sea bluish color from Cuttlefish and I'm using it as a shadow color. And then now we're painting like a pale blue color as our pre-highlight color making sure that we exaggerate the source of light which is for me usually it's the front top right side of the model initially i wanted to paint just black and white but i decided to go with this greenish ghostly look but eventually or like next month i ha i think i have a handful of minis that i could paint black and white i painted this mini in a little more than a couple of hours maybe three hours and i enjoyed it so much the whole process from the sketching to the highlighting and a bit of the glazes fat glazes with the dark sea blue or deep blue the deep on the shadow areas not much glazing with this project i enjoy the very sketchy very painterly look now it's time to thank all my patrons without their support there will be no youtube channel so if you like this video i hope you consider being a patron to support the channel the longer tutorial version of this video is of course uploaded at Patreon. I enjoyed this exercise so much, I highly recommend you do this in one of your minis. That's it Pansit, 